Hi guys, Erin here. Today I'm going to be talking about different book sagas and different series that I have not finished reading yet, and believe me, there are a lot of them. First off we have is the Kingmaker Kingbreaker duology by Karen Miller, and that consists of The Innocent Mage and The Awakened Mage, and unfortunately the book, the first book was just so long to get through, it was like nothing but filler, and then the climax happened on the last page, and that was it, and I'm just wondering to myself where the heck is the actual, like, descriptive plot, something like that, because it's pretty much just, it just consists of Asher did this, Asher did that, Prince Gar did this, Prince Gar did that, Prince Gar and his sister had a fight, oh look, everyone's dead. So it's just like, what the hell? I was wondering where, like, when I will get the time back, and hopefully I'll get the time back in the afterlife, because I plan to be reading in the afterlife too. So anyway, this is one series that I will not finish, because it's just so boring, especially if the final battle happens on the last page of the second book. So that's just driving me insane. And then the next series that I don't think I'll be finishing is the Selection series by Kira Cass. I finished the first book, The Selection, but I'm not really one for straight-up romance to begin with, so even though the series isn't as bad as the Kingmaker-Kingbreaker series, it still isn't at the top of my reading list, even though I have the next two books, which are The Elite and... What was the other one? I forget. Anyway, um, another book series that I have not finished yet, but I will get around to finishing, is The Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins. I finished the first book, but not yet book two or three, which is Catching Fire and Mockingjay. But I'm really liking the uh, movie version of Katniss Everdeen better than the book version because I like the stoic archer type, and that's what Katniss is in the movies. And in the books, she's a little more emotional, kisses Peta, has smiles on her face and everything, and it's just like, what the heck? I mean, it's like totally different. And another series that I have not finished yet is the Fair Assassin series. And this consists of Grave Mercy, Dark Triumph, and Mortal Heart. And the book, it's really quite long, but it's such a good read. I highly recommend it. And unfortunately, a lot of time has passed since I read this. So the plot and everything isn't really in my head anymore. So I think I'm going to be rereading this, then I'll get to books two and three. And then we can see what happens next, but I'm definitely going to be making book review videos for those two. And then another series that I have not finished yet is The Monster Trilogy by Michael Grant. There are three books in this series, Monster, Villain, and Hero. I have Villain because my family bought the book for me the other day. And then um, there's Hero which has not been published yet, as far as I know. I'm waiting for that book on hold right now, so until then, I'm reading Monster. And apparently, Sam Temple from the Gone series is not mentioned in this yet, but I'm just driving myself up a wall wondering what the hell is happening, because it just follows a bunch of, like, it follows a girl named Shade Darby, whose best friend is Cruz, and then they, like, seek out this interesting like, meteorite that possesses some sort of, I don't know, but it's really confusing at the start, because, like, I'm just wondering, okay, who's doing what, where, and why, how? And I'm just thinking to myself, okay, it's a part of, like, the sequel of the Gone series, so it has to be, like, even though it's not the best of Michael Grant's writing, it's still really good, so I'm definitely going to get through this eventually. As you can see, I started reading it, but I'm still a little bit confused, so I might need to turn to the internet for some answers. And then I have the Ember in the Ashes trilogy by Sabatir, which consists of an Ember in the Ashes, a uh, Torch Against the Night, and a Reaper at the Gates. And I still need to read books two and three, but a lot of time has passed since I read an Ember in the Ashes. So I'm rereading this, and then I will get to the next books. And um, I highly recommend this to like people who love the 300 because it has that same sort of vibe, except Lena Headey is not in it, and I'm just really happy about that. But although, now that I think about it, I mean, Cersei could t potentially be in the movie because um, she could play the Commandant, who is Elias' mother, and there's just like this huge like, hatred between Elias and his mother, so I'm thinking, okay, Lena Headey could actually potentially play the character. So
So that's really interesting. And then the last series that I have not finished yet, do not hate me for this, people, is the Throne of Glass series. I have all the books ever written, but I have not yet finished the series. I finished books one and two, Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight, and I'm on book three, which is Air of Fire, but I'm reading a few other books right now that draw my attention away from that series, so I'm definitely going to be reading that again. But again, please do not hate me for this, because I will get around to finishing the series. And before I go, I just have to say that the Throne of Glass series and the Court of Thrones and Roses series are my two top favorite book series ever. I will definitely reread them in the future. I'm going to get back to reading it now. So like, subscribe, comment, do your thing, and have a good day, everyone. And by the way, happy Halloween!